Hello there. In this screencast, I will show you how the AutoFix tool can be used to detect faults in iPhone programs, as well as to suggest fixes to those faults in a fully automatic fashion. AutoFix is integrated with the iPhone Verification Environment, or E. Here you can see the interface of EVE IDE, and in this area is the tool panel of AutoFix. I will be using a simple project in this demonstration. This project includes two classes, the root class and the MyList class. Class root contains the entry point of the application, while class MyList implements a list data structure and it provides a common API for list manipulation. Next, suppose we want to find out if the class MyList contains any bug and to be provided with a few candidate fixes to the detected bugs when the answer is yes. I will run autofix on class MyList. I only need to add the class name MyList to groups of classes to autofix and then click on Start Autofixing. Autofix will take care of the rest. Particularly, it will first run an automatic test case generation tool called Autotest on class MyList. Then for each fault found during testing, it analyzes the cause for the fault and proposes candidate fix. In the current setting, MyList will be tested for 10 minutes. Then for each fault, Autofix will spend at most 10 minutes on proposing candidate fixes. The fixes may involve modifications to the class implementation or the class contract. Now you can see testing is running. Testing is still running, but it has reported a fault in my list. Let's take a look at the fault. According to the ID of the fault, it corresponds to a precondition violation and it happened when executing the first instruction of routine duplicate. So let's open the routine duplicate. The head comment of this routine says the routine returns a copy of the sublist of the current MyList object. The first instruction of duplicate calls the creation procedure make of class MyList with argument storage.count. Storage is an array list object which actually provides the storage for elements inside MyList. And when there's no element in the list, storage.count has value zero. Make is responsible for initializing the MyList objects when they are first created, and it has a precondition requiring its argument should be positive. Now we understand the reason for this bug when you try to duplicate an empty MyList object. At the first instruction of duplicate, make will be called with argument zero, which violates make's precondition. It's nice that this bug can be detected automatically. But how should we fix it? Autofix can be helpful there. Let's wait till Autofix is finished and then take a look at the candidate fixes it proposes. Now both testing and fixing are finished. On the fixes panel, Autofix has proposed a few fixes to the fault found during testing. For example, this fix modifies the program implementation by conditionally replace some instructions with others, specifically Instead of always calling make with argument storage.count, the fixed code will now call make with argument storage.count plus one when storage is empty. This fix obviously removes the target bug while not introducing any new bug. Therefore, it is a so-called proper fix. This is another candidate fix to the same fault, but it suggests to change the program contract. Particularly, this fix suggests to change the precondition of make to a size greater than or equal to zero. If we open array list.make, we will see that this feature is okay with its argument being zero. Also, we don't see any reason inside class my list why a size cannot be zero, since the size of storage grows dynamically anyway. Therefore, changing the precondition here seems another proper fix to the fault. Now it's up to the programmer to decide which proper fix is better and should be adopted. Suppose in the case of this fault, we prefer the proper fix to the implementation. Then I can select the fix and click on apply. This fix will be automatically applied to the code and we have corrected a fault in the program. There is only one fault in this example project, but in practical use, autofix may find multiple bugs in the program and propose candidate fixes to them, which can greatly facilitate the debugging process in software development. So that's all I want to demonstrate with this short video. To know more about Autofix, please go to the homepage of Autofix. Thank you.